Hello Magnus. Hello Herre. Can you explain for uh, the viewers on our group, uh, Stop Sea Shepherd Violence, what happened in court today? In court happened exactly what we were hoping for uh, should happen. Then, uh, except that, that, that uh, every one of the Sea Shepherds were convicted for breaking Faroe's law. And can you tell a bit about the verdicts? Uh, what were the sentences? Uh, I haven't read it yet, but uh, as I understand, the verdict was uh, a little bit harder than, uh, than the prosecutor uh, asked for. So uh, it's a good day for us, absolutely. So uh, these people we see here now, walking here now, those who are uh, sentenced or the, convicted now, what will happen with them? If they don't pay the fine, they'll, uh, they'll of course, end up in jail. They'll end up in jail? Yeah. Uh, sure. For uh, how many years will they end up in jail? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, not years, but... Uh, but okay. Uh, how vital is this uh, victory, this win for the Faroe Islands? It's absolutely crucial because it tells us, it tells the world that uh, Sea Shepherd has nothing to do here. And will they listen, you think? No, they've got a leader, Paul Watson, a convicted one, uh, sitting somewhere in Paris uh, eating caviar and drinking champagne, and uh, he won't listen to any, anybody else than himself, so probably not. What is the signal value of this sentence? It's, uh, you can't, uh, can't uh, in fact, value it uh, high, highly enough, because... Uh, this is absolutely a victory, uh, a victory for, for us uh, in the Faroe Islands and uh, absolutely a victory uh, according to the new law. So I just want to say have, uh, congratulations to all Faroes.